I want to build a star. The sun is our ultimate source of energy. Life on earth exists because of the light and heat we receive from it every day. Fusion energy is what powers our sun, where heavy hydrogen atoms called deuterium are so hot that when they collide, they fuse together, releasing massive amounts of energy. This deuterium fuel is five million times more energy dense than fossil fuels, and it is naturally present in all water everywhere. To give you an example, every time you flush your toilet, you flush away about half a gram of deuterium, which is enough fusion fuel to power your entire house for three years. With such a clean and unlimited energy source, we could end war, end famine, stop climate change, even start to build cities on other planets. In my office, we have a fusion reactor. Now, it's a little different than a star. It's about 10 meters in diameter, and it's in the shape of a donut. Now, inside our donut, we have our deuterium plasma fuel suspended in midair by giant magnets. And this fuel is heated up to 15 million degrees, the same temperature as the core of the sun. But how do we measure such huge temperatures? Well, that's my job. I take a laser and fire it into the reactor. This bounces off the fuel. This bouncing is called Thomson scattering. Before scattering, the laser line looks like this. The wavelength of the laser is a straight line. After scattering of the fuel, the line gets stretched. And the wider the line stretches, this means the hotter the fuel is. So we can measure the temperature of the fuel from the width of this curve, and we can also measure the density of the fuel from the area underneath the curve. The temperature and the density are two vital measurements for controlling the reactor and achieving fusion. In my PhD, I look and develop into advanced Thompson scattering techniques. For example, my major project so far was instead of using a single laser, I took two different lasers and combined them together onto the same path. This gives us a double measurement that is both self-calibrating and more accurate than the single laser method. I was the first person in the world to test this technique, which is now being included in new, bigger fusion reactor designs. Fusion is the future, and my job is to help build it.